Here we are at Valhalla Golf Course, and as you know, the PGA Championship, well, it's on its way. It's very, very close. 200,000 spectators will visit this golf course. Over 171 countries will bring media members. But what we want to do here is we want to give you a behind the scenes look. What is Valhalla like? What will you see? How excited should you be for the 2024 PGA Championship? You know, I always say that Louisville and the state of Kentucky is a great place to raise adults. But if you're wondering about the visual allure of the state of Kentucky, this says it all. We are now at Valhalla Golf Club. And as you can see, it is absolutely gorgeous. My guest is the co-owner of Valhalla and also the chairman for the PGA event, the PGA championship that is coming right here to Louisville, Kentucky. He is Jimmy Kirschdorfer. Jimmy, first of all, Congratulations. Yeah. I would think now that the adrenaline is just flowing because we're getting close. Yes, we're getting close. Um, just a little over a month away in the eyes of the entire golf world will be on right here at Valhalla in Louisville, Kentucky. You know, we are so glad as Louisvillians that a group of Louisvillians, people who live right here, now own the Valhalla Golf Club. With that being said, that's not only special for us because we know you care, but you have a, a special passion and affinity for the sport of golf and the city. So tell me, how does it feel to own this beautiful golf course? Yeah, really the four of us, um, David Novak, Junior Bridgman, Chess Musselman and I, four of them that play golf together. And now now we're owners of, uh, of Valhalla, a place that you know, we were all members, cared deeply about. We really wanted to make sure it stayed local, locally owned by people that cared about the community and the club. And so we did that. And once that happened, we were, we knew we were kind of on defense to make sure that happened, and then we became on offense quickly and, and tried to transform it. We, we really think we've created something transformational here that people from around the world want to come visit. Jimmy, I want to talk about that because you have been, this golf course has been the home for the Ryder Cup, the PGA Championships, and now it returns the PGA Championship, which is prestigious in itself. What I want to talk about is some of these fantastic, beautiful changes that you will see and spectators who come to visit will see as well. Yeah. What, um, as soon as we were successful, we knew we were going to be the successful bidders and, and uh, owners of it. Um, the four of us came together with some key staff and said, now what can we create? How can we take this beautiful place, which it was, it was already great, how can we make it even better? And one of the themes we came up with was we're all Louisvillians and, and proud Kentuckians and we want to kind of show that throughout the golf course. So when our visitors drive through the gates, they know where they are. They, they know what state they're in. They know what community they're in. So we highlighted, you know, we built this horse farm back there, the Hala Farms. And when you first drive in, you're going to see um, a lot of limestone, which is really critical to our, or the reason we have the bourbon industry and the horse industry here in this area is because of our limestone uh, geology structure. So we highlight that throughout the golf course, limestone walls, white picket fences, or the white clubhouse. So that, that theme throughout of Kentucky that our visitors will see. You know, the economic impact, you know, the mayor talks a lot about it. I know you, as a businessman, realizes the impact that this course can have. From what I understand, over 200,000 people will come in for the PGA Championships, 50% from not only out of town, but a lot from out of this country. Uh, we have a lot of media members, over 2,000 media members. We have CBS here with 150 cameras. Yeah. This is a lot of pressure, but but it's good pressure, isn't it? Yeah, we're. I mean, it's you know the staff and you know the here have, we've been through. We've had great championships here. The volunteers that have come out. I mean, you think about it. '96 with Mark Brooks, then 2000 Tiger won uh, against Bob May, the epic playoff that you still see on the Golf Channel. You know, reruns a lot. Um, the Ryder Cup 2008, and then Rory in in, in 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 2014 winning in the dark, and then some senior PGA events. So. I think the membership and the staff knows how to host these big events. So, we, you know, uh, it's, it's another one here, but this is going to be the best one because this is the largest build out of any PGA in history because of how the community has showed up to support the event. 
Well, I love that you said that because this is an event town. I brag a lot about Louisville saying whether it be the PGA Championship, the Kentucky Derby, something this is, this is world class and it's an event town, but this town loves golf. Am I wrong? No, I think they had there's so many great memories from, I talked to a lot of people in the community. They said, I was there at the Ryder Cup when we won and what a great event that was. Or I was there when Tiger won. I think so many great memories that this community has from the past championships that they, they don't want to miss this one. And, you know, I'm so proud of how our community stepped up to support the event. I mean, it was the fastest sellout, fastest volunteer f filled up quickly, 3,000 volunteers from the community, um, and uh, corporate hospitality sales mm -hmm. broke records. So the PGA is looking, saying, wow, this community really cares about the event and they're supporting it. Wow. You know, we talk about the economic impact, and uh, I know that Rochester, Tulsa, experienced close to $200 million that came into their cities. We expect that will happen here, and we will exceed that here in Louisville. With that being said, let's bring it back to something personal for you, because folks will be watching on CBS. I mentioned the fact that there are 150 cameras. They'll have all kinds of angles. What's Jimmy Kirschdorfer's favorite hole here? What what visual are you most proud of? And I know there's a lot of them here, but yeah. which, which one do you go, wow, that says a lot about Valhalla? I think, uh, well, 13 right here is, is we transformed it, highlighting the, the, the limestone behind it in the water feature we have now. And that's going to be one of the most photographed holes maybe in, in all of golf or any championships because uh, they're going to, I mean, CBS came out and showed all the different cameras they're going to have when people putting with the waterfall in the background. So I love what we did there. 18 we transformed here right behind us here with the water feature. We changed that quite a bit. Um, and now for the clubhouse, we lowered a lot of the, the grounds there so you can see it all from the clubhouse. You can see 13 and 18, probably are two of our prettiest holes right here from the clubhouse. Okay, so Jimmy Kirschdorfer, I have to tell you, and I think it's pretty obvious here, you look the part. You look like a really high-end golfer, so I, I would be amiss if I didn't ask you, you know, how's your golf game right now? How, how much do you, are you able to play? I know, you know, you're out here, a lot of it may be uh, from the business perspective, but when you're out here able to enjoy it, how's your game going? It's, you know, I'm trying and trying and trying and kind of plateaued a little bit, John, but not trying to get better and I, I still have hope. I think the great thing about golf is, you know, it always leaves you with hope. You'll, you'll hit a couple good shots at the, in the last hole and say, you know, I could do that again. So um, I enjoy the game tremendously. I'm fortunate that my father put a golf club in my hand at a young age. It didn't change my life, really. I can't imagine what my life would be without the game of golf. And um, now my son plays, we play a lot together. So um, I've been fortunate and trying to hope more kids um, get that opportunity. We're so happy as Louisvillians that you and your group own this. Louisvillians owning such a beautiful and iconic golf course. Before I let you go, Give me the best case scenario for the 2024 PGA Championship. Well, first of all, good weather, but yeah, then we somebody can't control. But <laughs> hey, I think we're all rooting for Justin. I mean, a local boy here, uh, I know he's gonna come in for a practice round. He, he called me, wants to come in early and, and get a look right around Derby time, come in and play. Um, but he's just been great to this community, grew up here. I mean, he has great memories of Valhalla when he was a youngster. I think he used to come out on his birthday. He got to come out and every year and play. That was his treat and has great memories here, but never really played a professional event in this area with this with this hometown. So I think him uh, being right there and winning it would be fantastic for this community. And there's a lot of other great stories. I could Obviously, Tiger's scheduled to play. That would be great. Um, J uh, Jordan Spieth will be going for the career Grand Slam. Oh so God. if it wins. So anyway, I think I just want the, the community to come out and, and enjoy it. Just feeling your passion. I get excited <laughs> about it. So And you should be excited as well. Once again, the PGA Championships 2024 will happen right here. And I have to tell you, Jimmy, regardless of your game, trophy or no trophy, you, my man, are a champion. Thank you for your time. Thank you, John. Once again, Jimmy Kirschdorfer, one of the owners here. Yes, they're all Louisvillians right here at Valhalla Golf Club. PGA Championships, folks. Well, here's the bottom line. This baby is up for grabs, this beautiful trophy. And there are a lot of moving parts here, as we know. Uh, media's coming in from all around the world. CBS, 150 cameras, over 200,000 spectators. But this man, Keith Reese, who is the general manager of Valhalla Golf Club, has the hardest job because he's the man who's responsible for the golf course. Keith, the pressure is on. How you feeling? 
feeling great. <laughs> we really are. It, it's the, the build out for the tournament's going fantastic. Uh, the golf course looks great. The weather this winter has cooperated a little bit. So yeah, we feel like we're in a good spot. You know, I talk about the pressure that is the PGA Championship being a global event. With that being said, this course looks beautiful 24 seven. I mean, it isn't like the standard is up. The standard is always high here at Valhalla, right? It, it is very much so. It, it's, and we take great pride in that. Our, our golf course superintendent, John Ballard, just does such a wonderful job. And, and you know, the expectations are high because it is, it's a bucket list golf course for a lot of people. So we never know when a guest is gonna come in and it's his one and only shot to play Valhalla. So, so we wanna make it special. With all due respect to the other golf courses around the state and, and around the country for that matter, I would think though the threshold or the bar is very high here. This is a PGA Championship. So, so talk a little bit about what makes a course special. How does a course qualify to invite and actually have a PGA Championship come to it? Yeah, there, there's actually a lot involved there, John, it, it, and it goes beyond the golf course as well. But the golf course in general, you know, it's got it's to be tough enough to where it's going to test the best players in the world. You've got to have enough room for the, the build out of the hospitality, which we have here, the, the spectator areas that they can, can view easily. So really there, there's a lot that encompasses that. And then you have the community, which plays a huge role in it and, and making it a success. And Louisville has hit a home run every time. Yeah, I, I love hearing that because I hear it from you, uh, Jimmy Kirschdorfer, uh, other owners about how much the community means to this course. Cause we always talk about how proud we are of Valhalla Golf Club. But you're saying this golf club is very proud of the community in which it resides. Talk a little bit about the pride that you have in our community. Yeah, very much so, John. The, an event of this magnitude, the PGA Championship, doesn't, it doesn't go off without the community, the sport of the community, the hotel rooms, the restaurants, the transportation, but also over 3,000 volunteers that come from mostly from the community. So really, for, for a tournament like this to be successful, it has to have the full backing of the community and the region, really, in general, which we've always had here at Valhalla. I think that's one thing that the PGA has always just really loved about having an event here is because the city just, they, they, the community jumps behind it so well. We, we've talked a little bit about it. You touched upon this, this quote unquote build out. But, but what do you see as someone who's been here since what? So you were here since 89? Yeah, since 89. Since 1989. So my goodness, if anyone would appreciate the changes, it's you. What, what do you see? What are you proud of? Really, it, it, you know, one of the things that I'm proud of here is we always tend to set records, be it ticket sales or attendance or what have you. But this time it looks like we're gonna set a record for the largest build out of a PGA championship ever. And by build out, I mean the temporary structures, the temporary flooring for, for hospitality, for uh, you know corporate patrons and for our, for our general public patrons. So it, it's amazing. It, it, it changes a little bit every time with each event, which has always amazed me. And this one is bigger and, and grander than any we've had so far. You know, CBS does such a good job, 150 cameras and, and global exposure for the city of Louisville. What, what can folks who live here in Louisville, I know 50% of your audience, audience apparently or spectators that will be here are from outside of the state, around the world, but what should a Louisvillian expect if they come out here and, and witness the PGA Championship? Yeah, I think that's one thing that the local community sometimes misses a little bit and that how th this is a global event. It's amazing how many people worldwide will be watching this event. And CBS always does such a great job of kind of focusing on some of the highlights of Louisville as well to give them a flavor of, of where it is. So I, I think this community has to be awfully proud of, of what we've done and, and what they do each and every time to you know, from the Derby to you know, all of these big events. And Louisville is just a town that, that can get it done. Yes, yes. Keith, this golf course, really, if you could encapsulate what is beautiful about the state of Kentucky, the city of Louisville, it's all here on display. Talk a little bit about some of your favorite holes, some of the things that people will see, maybe some of the enhancements that, believe it or not, can be done to landscaping here. Yeah, it, it, the transformation is actually amazing. The, the, our new ownership group, uh, Jimmy Kirchdorfer, Junior Bridgman, David Novak, and Chess Musselman, uh, it, it was amazing the vision that they had when they, you know, not only that, that they wanted to protect the place and keep it a local icon, but, but the vision to turn it into now when you pull in the gate, you know you're in Kentucky. You see the horse farm to the left, you see the limestone to the right. Um, so all of the features, I think, you know, the bluegrass rough, everything Kentucky seems to be rolled into this property, which, which is really unique. So I think when, the, when the, the patrons come in for the PGA Championship, 
you know, and the players as well, that they'll know they're in Kentucky and they'll know they're at a championship venue. You know, golf is such a visually pleasing sport. And you're on a golf court and you and you golf cart and you get to enjoy the view all the time. You're probably out there every day. Is there a spot where you go stop the cart? I just have to take a look. What would that be for you, Keith? Yeah, I'd fit the hole's 15, 16. They're down in a lower area with Brush Run Creek that divides the two of them. It's just such a pristine little area that, that I, there's a little knoll that I can just pull a cart up on and just sit there and kind of watch people play golf and, and wind down a bit. But you know, that, that's probably one of my favorite places on the golf course. Uh, you know, here on Metro TV, we like to keep people aware of, of big events, and certainly this is huge. So with that being said, if they'd like to come out to the course, are tickets still available? There are potentially some tickets still available for, for ground passes only and, and for the practice days. So uh, unfortunately, the, the tickets for Thursday through Sunday are sold out. Um, they sold out, I think, faster than any other event has. So just another, uh, another example of, of how this community in this region really supports things. But, but hopefully everybody can get a chance that wants to come out that, that, that can get out here and take a look at it because it's really a special event. Last question for you. With you and everyone here in this clubhouse here at Valhalla, I feel the pride and positivity about the upcoming championship. How much does it mean to you as a general manager? I mean, you talk to your peers and you go, well, we're the host of a PGA championship. I think that says a lot in itself, but talk a little bit about the pride for you and your members here at Valhalla. Yeah, no question. There, there's, there's only four majors in golf and uh, there's only two of them that rotate to really different sites and the PGA Championship is one of those. So be able to host one of the four majors in a year it is a big deal. It really is. And, you know, for our membership, our membership, really, they, they embrace this championship. They embrace the club. And, uh, you know, I think they, it, 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 it's nice that, you know, that prestige that they'll feel when they go somewhere and they have the Valhalla logo on. People go, oh, Valhalla Golf Club just saw that on TV, PGA Championship. So, yeah, there's a sense of pride all around with, with, with our team here as well as our membership. Well, on behalf of Louisville and everyone in Metro government, thank you for bringing this event to the city of Louisville. Thank you for what you do at Valhalla, Keith. Thank you, John. I really appreciate it. Once again, Keith Reese, who is the general manager here at Valhalla Golf Club. It's going to be a great event. If you can make it, please do so. You'll never forget it. It's a bucket list. Valhalla Golf Club is so proud to be located right here in the state of Kentucky and a good example of that is the Kentucky Wall and Keith Reese is here with us once again. He is the general manager of Valhalla Golf Club. Okay Keith, tell me a little bit about the Kentucky Wall. What does it mean and some of these famous folks on here? Yeah, this is a neat little spot that we set aside in the clubhouse when we did the renovation. We call it the family room, our Kentucky room. Um, so what a, it's a sitting area and then we have a wall that features a, a lot of our Kentucky talented golfers. It's amazing when you look at this wall, how many how many great golfers we've had through Kentucky over the years. And so this these walls represent the those that have, have won a PGA championship and are from Kentucky or have played in a major championship at Valhalla. And so we've got so they're, the, they're very proud of this course. Yes, very proud. Absolutely. And I think there's probably uh, a, a picture there that you'll know that uh, <laughs> someone from 1996. Yeah, I remember going to the PGA Championship, the first one here, and going out to the 18th and meeting Jack Nicholas with the champ with Muhammad, and it was such a special day. Two icons there. That's that's a special picture. Absolutely. And from what I heard, I've heard some neat stories about it. And Jack was extremely excited to meet to meet Muhammad Ali. But we've also got Kenny Perry and J.B. Holmes, um, Steve Flesh, great Kentucky player, Justin Thomas obviously so you know we've really got some some neat stuff here and, and we wanted to celebrate those Kentucky golfers and make it feel like home. A am I wrong it just seems it seems really unusual to have so many PGA uh, quality golfers located in one state is this unusual? I, I would say it is I mean particularly you know like Kentucky I mean it's uh, you know our winters are cold our summers are nice but you know it's not exactly a place you play golf all year round so to, ha to have this many talented players come from this area to me is really amazing. So many world-class golfers from the state of Kentucky, Keith. So this is another part of the Kentucky Wall. Point out a few others. Yeah, absolutely. A lot of great players. We've got Bobby Nichols, who won his PGA Championship back in the 60s. Russ Cochran, uh, who played in our 96 PGA Championship and actually had the course record for a little bit after that. Then here we have Kenny Perry again. We sure wish he would have won that 96 PGA. He was very close, lost in a playoff. And then some other, some other Really, we just love, we call them Kentucky characters. We've got Kenny Perry's father, um, wore his overalls and his, and, and his bibs to, 
to the Ryder Cup to watch his son play, and then also some of the fans from Ryder Cup there that uh, are going all out supporting the USA. You know, maybe I'm reaching here, but I don't think so. Okay, Justin Thomas, Kenny Perry, uh, these, these golfers and all of those that are from Kentucky, they are nice guys. They are a good reflection, good ambassadors for the state of Kentucky, right? Absolutely, yeah. They, you know, they, they've been here many times before other than the tournaments. Um, Justin Thomas and Kenny, J.B. Holmes, and they can't be nicer to the membership, to the staff. It's just they're, they're good people, and that's what you really like to see. Okay, I think the scenario, I'm getting a clear picture here. It seems that everyone is kind of pulling for Justin Thomas. How, how about you? How, how do you feel about it, Keith? I'd say he's the crowd favorite, no question. He, he's, he's, I, I, I've seen him play golf here since he was 10 years old. His dad, Mike, used to bring him out each year on his birthday. So to see him win would be, that'd be extra special. Uh, I have to tell you, on behalf of the city of Louisville, thank you so much for what you do once again. And I hope you are able to enjoy the tournament. I know this is your golf course and, and I know you feel very responsible for the, for the look and the enjoyment the spectators will have, but I hope you get to enjoy it as well. Well, thank you. I, I'll find some time. I'll find my little spot and I'll find my, my time to really look at it and soak it all in. It'll be special. Once again, Keith Reese, he is the general manager here at Valhalla Golf Club. We hope you can get out to the 2024 PGA Championship here at Valhalla. I hope you enjoyed the behind the scenes look here at Valhalla Golf Club just prior to the PGA Championship. I hope you can come out for it, but if not, Hey, we'll see you next time on Uniquely Louisville.